Hello, my YouTube friends. How are you doing? So, today we are watching the review clips of some gorgeous bikini. I am sure you will definitely like them. As always, we came up with 9 sets in our video and I will select the best bikini for you which depends on material, used, color, comfort, fit and finish. And as you know that I made this channel to help you in selecting the best bikini or lingerie for you or for your partner. And if you are new here, then subscribe my channel and turn on all notifications to get the latest videos every day. Thanks. Keep watching the videos and please don't forget to press the like button. So here's what the top looks like on. It's like pretty flattering. I would say um, it kind of like it's obviously is not a push up top, but it does have a little bit of a push up effect right here just because it's so tight and like the way it fits and whatever. The bottoms, like I said, are like extremely cheeky. So I guess the swimsuits aren't going to be for everyone due to the cheekiness, but. Okay. Okay, so this is the first piece. I'm actually like obsessed with this color. Like this yellow is just stunning. So bright and just the style of this is really, really nice. I thought with the top like it was gonna be way too small. Like when I picked it up, it was literally like this big. But it stretches so nicely over and actually gives really good support as well because it is that little bit tighter. So they're pretty much just a plain bottom. They have like a cheeky back and then a really thin strap here. There I wear my bikinis that little bit higher on my waist. Actually, I think these ones are meant to be high waist. <laughs> I don't think you can wear them here. They just look a bit weird. I think they are designed to be up high and the models are in them up high. The material is super nice as well. And I like this little cutout here, like this little detailing. I already love this bikini so much and this is only the first one. This is my favorite so far. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up for this one. Okay, let's jump on to the next bikini. This item isn't actually a bikini, it's actually a swimsuit, which I'm really excited about because I saw this on the website and I just thought this was a little bit like different for me. You guys know I don't really wear color often, but I do like to kind of venture out with my swimsuits and like swimmer in general. So when I saw this, I just thought I need to try this. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's not really like my taste, um, but I saw it and it looked quite nice on the model and it was actually on sale too. I only paid 14 pounds for it, it was reduced from 40 pounds. So that's quite a big saving. I got this in a size eight and I was just really drawn to like the crisscross kind of cage effect. As soon as I saw this, I just knew it was not meant for sunbathing. Let's just say that. Can you imagine the suntan that you would have from this? But I decided to pick this up anyway because I thought why not try it why not try and step out of my comfort zone and just see what this is like so let's pop it on and see how it looks i'm actually kind of nervous so this is the next bikini and i actually have to say i personally consider myself to have quite a short torso so i thought this would never be an issue for me but this is actually a little bit too short for me in terms of like the length of the actual swimsuit as you can see it is kind of coming down and literally any sudden movement and this would literally just fall down my waist and you would see my chest. So it's not really the most comfortable swimsuit to be in because I would constantly have to like pull it up. I mean, apart from that, it is a pretty cool swimsuit. I think it's really awesome and really unique, but it's just the fact that it's a bit short that's really like throwing me off. Apart from the fact that I keep having to pull up this swimsuit, I would say it's actually a pretty cool one. Like I love the crisscross effect. I think it's really flattering. I absolutely love these little details here, like on the hip bone i think it's really cute but the only downside is that it is too short for me let me know what you guys think of it would you ever wear a swimsuit like this or do you think it's a little bit too extra i personally do think this swimsuit is a little bit too extra for me it kind of reminds me of more like lingerie than a swimsuit but i just don't really like it unfortunately because this doesn't really fit me right i am gonna have to give this like a five out of ten On to the red one. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of like red bikinis, which like if you follow my Instagram and see like my pictures from like trips and stuff, you would know that. These are probably the smallest bottoms, but um, 
Here they are. I think the color is like, let me check the color. The color is rose red. I think there might be a couple different shades of red. I'm, I'm not sure. I might be literally crazy. I'm literally obsessed with these. Like the color is just so vibrant. And then again, it has the egg. They are like really, really low rise in the front and that might not be for everyone. But something that I do love about these bottoms is, um, if this will focus, they're adjustable the way a bra top is. Do you know what I mean? Like Depending on your size, you can make these straps really small, really long. That way, like when I first tried these on, I didn't realize that they were adjustable and they like cut in on my hips quite a bit and I was like, I don't think I like the way these fit, like I don't think it looks good. And then I realized, oh my gosh, wait, I can change it. So I pulled the sides out quite a bit more, gave myself some more like room and they fit really nicely. And then from the back, I think this might be the smallest. It doesn't look like the smallest when I hold it up, but I'm pretty sure it's smaller than the other pair. And then for the top, I got this in rose red as well, and I got the same one as the purple one. And again, really, really love it. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I think I probably will stick the pads in. The clasps, just so you guys can, like, see what they look like, because I feel like that's important. It's, like, um, like a plastic piece, not, like, a metal piece or anything. As much as it is, like, a small bikini, it feels good quality. Okay, and then here's the top to the red bikini. Again, it's got that same, like, push-up vibe. I did not put the pads in this set, but I did put the pads in the other two sets. Um, then here are the bottoms. They're really, really low cut, and then they don't quite come up as high in the back as I like, so they're a little bit just, like, low on me, but that's fine. So, yeah, I like this one, too. Anyway. Hey guys, this is the next bikini. I've actually got a bikini that's very, very similar to this, but it's got a bit of blue in it. I love that bikini so much, except the only thing is the bottoms are like a G-string, and these ones are not like these ones. Because they're not even really like a cheeky bun, they're just like a normal bun, so I'd say you'd probably wear them like on your hips. So like usually I pull them up like this, but some swimmers just look a bit weird like that, like if they're not meant to do that, so I actually prefer them like this, I think. Super flattering. Top is a really nice support and even the bottoms, like I don't feel like I'm going to fall out of them at all. This material is like this lined material. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like this lined material rather than the typical swimwear material that people usually use. The colour is just like stunning. I love this bikini so much. Like this is so cute and it's actually something like I would wear to the beach because it's not too revealing. Like if I want to run around with Lola or I want to take the other dogs to the beach with Chris, I feel like I would probably reach for something like this. You know, you let's get the next bikini on. Now the next bikini is a light blue one. We have some light blue in the house. I'm so excited about this kind of color recently. I don't know, I just really like um, pastel colors. When it comes to color, you guys know I don't really wear it often, but when I do, I usually kind of sway towards like the pastel colors. So that is why I'm in love with this pastel blue. This bikini set was also on sale. So the bottoms were I think six pound 50 and the top half was at five pounds. So that's more like it, the prices that I usually go for. So these are the bottoms. Again, they are high-waisted. They feel really, really nice. Like, the fabric feels really good quality, and it kind of has, like, a double layer, which I really appreciate. And, yeah, they're just really nice. Like, they feel really nice to the touch. I'm not going to lie, though. The bottoms are a little bit boring, so where it all happens is in the top half. It's basically, like, a lace-up bardo kind of a bikini top. I absolutely love this. Look how pretty that is with, like, the crisscross effect. I think that's beautiful, and I love the little bardo sleeves. I'm not sure if it will actually give me much support though which I'm a little bit worried about especially if you're like planning on going swimming in this there is no cup so you're gonna have to like be really careful but yeah I was just obsessed with how this looked on the model so let's try it on and hopefully it'll look as good on me as it did on her so this is the blue one I am so obsessed with this one I probably will keep saying that about most of these swimsuits slash bikinis but I genuinely really love this I just think it's really unique looking mainly because of the top half I really really like the top half and especially the little bardo sleeves the one thing i would say is that this string that kind of like ties everything together is a little bit long so i probably would end up cutting it or else it might just get in the way but apart from that i think the top half is great and actually i was really concerned about it having no support but it's not really too bad the actual band underneath is quite tight around like my actual torso so it's keeping me in place just fine i've also got to give massive credit to these bottoms i really really like them look how flattering they look on they're I'm actually like hiding my little food baby as well. I'm genuinely gonna give this bikini a 9 out of 10. The only thing that would make it a 10 is if it actually had cups inside the top. On to the last one. This is probably my favorite color combination, but my least favorite fitting wise. So Boutine LA and then Chooks, 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 I don't even, I don't even know, I don't even know. 
but you can order things from either place on their website so so this is what the little logo looks like the bikini i got is just this minty color with like a white outline and it is called vine green again i got the bottoms in a medium these ones are a little bigger in the front and um, about the same in the back as the others my only issue with this is that these pieces right here don't stretch a ton and they do cut in on my sides so with this style bottom, I almost think I might size up to a large in the bottoms, just so that it fits better. And then the top, this right here, the top, it's your typical triangle top. Again, it has the little logo right here. And mint wasn't ever a color I really like saw myself like wearing or getting, but my boyfriend just got a pair of swim trunks that are like a white and mint. And then me being like cheesy and like weird was like, I want to get a bikini in the same color as his swim trunks. Maybe we could get a picture. It's kind of like a weird thought process, but that's what it was. Then here's the mint top. I really, really like this one. I feel like, again, it's kind of like a push-up vibe. I think this one might look the best on a tan, honestly, because it's just, like, bright. Also, it matches my boyfriend's swim trunks. So you can kind of see what I mean. There's a little bulge, like, here and here. And, like, the same on this side. My hope is that, like, consistent gym time and eating better is going to kind of, like, help this right here. There's a tag, like, hanging right here. But, um, ignoring the tag. They're again, really, really cheeky. Wow. These are my favorite. The color is just stunning. I mean, like, these straps could be a little bit higher. I think you can adjust. Can you? I've adjusted these a little bit, but I'm going to need Chris's help to adjust it a bit more. But they do have adjustable straps, which has made it even better. Like, this bikini is now my favorite this nice little gold detailing like on the bottoms and on the top the pattern on the top is just this tropical like blue and green like almost like a teal like an emerald green this is like my favorite color as well i think that's why i like it so much it's got high waisted as well which is what i usually go for in bikinis is high waisted not too cheeky at all like it's actually quite a nice covering of the bust and this is my favorite i'm sorry <laughs> This is the kind of swimwear I would opt for. I'm going to go for a top like this that is adjustable, that has a nice shape and style. Honestly, I love this detailing here as well. I just think this is such a flattering bikini. Like, I really love this bikini. It's my favourites for sure. Fao shao. Let's get the next one. The next bikini is a little bit more like it. This is my colors. You guys will know this. So this bikini was again a little bit more on the pricey side. I mean, thirty pounds for like the top and the bottom. Would you say that's expensive? Personally, I'm so used to like literally just getting a very cheap bikini from like Primark or eBay for like ten pounds. So anything over like twenty pounds, in my opinion, is a little bit pricey for a bikini. But let me know what you guys think. This is the top half. As you can see, it's tiny, but it does stretch. So I'm really, really happy about that. I think this will be like really flattering on the chest and it'll keep you in. This is gonna keep you supported. You can go swimming, you can lounge around by the pool and you don't have to be worried. So that's great. And the bottoms are again, kind of like high-waisted briefs, I would say. Um, oh. <laughs> I always find it so funny when the bottoms are this high rise. Doesn't that look ridiculous? I mean, this is the front and this is the back. It's like the same. What the hell? When I've got this on, there will literally be nothing left to the imagination. Let's just say that. It didn't look that bad on the model though. I guess I didn't really look at it from the back. Either way though, the top and the bottom were both £14 each, so... I mean, is that good? Is that bad? You let me know. I'm really excited though because I love how like crinkled it is. So let's go try this on and hopefully I won't flash my butt cheeks at you guys too much. Okay guys, I won't lie to you. This is definitely a little bit of me. I am just obsessed with this swimsuit. This is literally so nice. Like it fits so well and it is a little bit like cut out right here which I would have wished it kind of like stretched over like this a little bit more but it's not really that big of a deal. I'm still covered even though it doesn't really look like I am because I am like showing off all of this like hip bone area. From the side too I wouldn't say it's too cheeky either like it still covers me very well at the back which is great. Also I just knew the top half would be this comfortable like it's literally such a snug fit I'm not even worried about anything. I just really like the color and I'm a little bit tanned right now so it looks really really nice with a tan so I am definitely going to keep this and I'm definitely going to be taking this on holidays.
So, the winner of today's try on haul is this. It has a smart look with smooth material and fit. It is the best and beautiful among all the bakeries and lingeries. Thanks, keep watching the videos and please don't forget to press the like button.